Welcome guys to this new video to Express. If you wanted to get started with your actual YouTube ads, you are in the right, right place. In order to get started, I'm going to be showing you how to run ads into your YouTube. Whether you want to use them for adding into your first part of a video, uh, you want to run some ads, or you just want to help your video boost and drive more engagement and traffic into your actual channel. So in order to get started into your actual YouTube ads, you must have a Google account. And then later on, I'm going to hit actually into my Gmail account just to make sure that I have my actual account already been signed in. Now that I'm signed in, you want to focus into YouTube. So usually YouTube has your Google account linked with your YouTube account. So once you have both of them linked and created, we can now go into Google Ads. So Google Ads is the one that's going to be taking charge, taking care of running ads through Google, through YouTube, and all the tools that Google has to offer to us. So once you have your actual Google account, you want to go here into ads.google.com and hit into start now or sign in. In our case, we have just already created an account. So we just want to hit into select a Google Ads account and hit into continue. So in this case, you wanted to run, let's say for example, this one. So if you don't have one, you can always create a new Google Ads account. So you don't have to worry about that. So once you have your Google Ads account already been created, now you can start to check it out how to promote, let's say, a video of YouTube. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to run some ads within a specific video that I have myself. So the very first thing you want to do is to copy the link that I wanted to get started with the actual ads. YouTube ads, of course, need to be running with the actual Google ads. Don't forget that. So if you haven't started yet, this is the part where you wanted to get started with a new campaign. So starting with an actual new campaign of Google ads is going to be like much more easier if you focused into a specific goals. For example, if I wanted to make a actual ad for a specific video just to drive some more traffic, here I wanted to search for the one that says brand awareness and reached. You can always choose app promotion, local store, product or brand consideration, web traffic, leads and sales. But you might be wondering what's up with the actual get shareable linked or promote version inside my actual YouTube since you told me that we wanted to run ads inside Google Ads and not directly into YouTube. Well, if you hit to promote in a specific video for from the actual YouTube, it's going to be asking you to choose in a specific Google Ads account in order to continue or to create an actual new account. After that, you wanted to hit into next and you linked, you needed to actually link your actual YouTube into your actual videos. So this is like um, a really simple way of how you can run YouTube ads. But what I can totally suggest to you is to do this directly into Google Ads so you can see more expanded, more details and more personalized tools that can be helping you to find the right audience for you. So you wanted to spend less and gain more. So I'm going to just close my YouTube and focus into the actual uh, YouTube ad. So choose my objective. Since we wanted to run some YouTube ads only specific for YouTube, I wanted to focus into reach a broad awareness and build uh, a broad audience. So select my campaign type. We wanted to create rich viewers on YouTube and get more conversions. So now we have three ways to promote this. A video reach campaign, an ad sequence, and an audio. So they might be listening on YouTube with audio based ads. They can be telling a story into showing ads or we can just uh, create some bumper skippable ads that everybody sees, but nobody wanted to, let's say, focus at the end of the video. Just, just wanted to focus to the one that says add a sequence, which is a little bit more faster and easier. And you can get more conversions. I'm going to hit now into continue. And then later on, it's going to be asking you into what is the actual video you wanted to promote. So. In my campaign name, let's go and look out for uh, brand awareness of YouTube tire number one. So scrolling a little bit down, it's going to be showing you your campaign total of how much money you would like to spend during the actual campaign of your actual uh, project. In my case, I don't want it to focus into a total campaign budget, but to hit into daily. The daily is going to be helping you just to track and spend less and you can get more clickables, more linkless, more leads, more of that. So you don't want to focus into how much money you're going to be spending at the end of the day. So how much money you're going to be spending daily, much more faster, much more easy and effective. 
Now, into my networks, I just wanted to focus into the one that says YouTube. We don't want to focus into collection of sites and application outside YouTube and Google. We just want to focus into YouTube only because we don't want to focus into more stuff than just YouTube. And if you don't know what is like the target audience that you wanted to focus on, let's say for example that I wanted to focus into some gamer people and I speak only English. So if I focus into Argentina and to Mexico, I'm not going to be earning a lot of drive sales or leads because nobody speaks uh, English into those those countries. So we focus into, let's say, for example, United States only and Canada, for example. So adding a video related to a video ads can help us increase engagement. So if I hit in a specific video, let's say, for example, that I do love to watch uh, I'm going to go into youtube.com, I'm going to hit into gamer reaction and hit, I don't know, maybe Nap, for example. If I know that my people, my audience loved this kind of videos, I wanted to enter this one, so it's going to be appearing here. Your video ad should be appearing like this. So this is how it should be appearing, uh, my ad when people click into this video, for example, into some related, but this is how we can use this tool ad. So hit into done, for example, use at least two videos and hit into done. You can create a short video to add a final URL if you wanted to. You can, uh, let's say, focus into if this is an escapable in ad, ad or non escapable in stream ad. Of course, both of them have different prices, so you want to just check it out which one fits for you the best. You can focus and add your new sequence so many people can see like which one best suits for this custom ad. So you can just save the changes and figure it out if your ad has now been ready to get started here. So you want to go into your other view and your ad should be running like right away. So understanding the Google ad new dashboard is not going to be that hard, but this is how we can get started creating some ads into YouTube, specifically speaking about the actual YouTube. Hopefully guys, this was a very easy way of how you can check it out, how you can start your YouTube ads. You have the recommendations based on how much budget you have and all of that. So uh, hopefully guys, it was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you find this video very useful. Hopefully we can see you next time and have lots of fun. See you next time.